Hello fellow papers, typing Piper here. So there's this guy on YouTube who calls himself Coach Red Pill. When I first came across him, he looked very familiar. Turns out that he's worked in the movie industry on and off for a while. Currently lives in Ukraine. Does a bunch of videos on how men should be men. And, uh, well, really, that's about it. Yay, a plane. So, today he posted a video about Jordan Peterson referring to him as a little bitch because he cried on camera after getting out of rehab for being addicted to an anti-anxiety medication he decided to take while his wife was going through chemotherapy for a cancer that definitely could have been fatal. So I have to start out by saying that uh, for a while I liked Coach Red Pill's videos. I've watched several dozen of them. Didn't agree with all of them. And, uh, you know, some are funny, some are not. Uh, the one that got me hooked for a while was uh, Men Are Tired which I would encourage guys to go out and watch. And uh, he just states it very bluntly that, you know, we're tired of, and the list goes on and on of all the shit that we are tired of hearing, of uh, being expected of us, not acceptable, things of that nature. So when it comes to this Peterson video, there are several things that I have issues with when it comes to this. Uh, Coach Red Pill, in all of his uh, <laughs> internet wisdom, states that uh, you know, man should uh, do everything he can to make sure he's not caught on camera crying. Uh, that, that seems to be the biggest thing that he has a problem with. Which, uh, I actually have a problem with. Uh, I don't see any reason why at this certain point in Jordan Peterson's life, seeing that he's been open with his followers about every other aspect of his life, that we shouldn't see what he's going through now. And sure, if he wanted to keep that private, I would completely understand that. You know, uh, there's just certain things that, you know, should be kept with family. But you get out of rehab, you openly say that you had to go to rehab for one reason or another. You get out, you decide to do an interview Maybe at the test run, maybe he's looking to see where he's at mentally, uh, how he's doing emotionally in his own life. This might be the only interview that he does for a while. And at least we know now as to why that is. And as a man, I'm definitely not going to judge him upon how he reacted during an interview after all the shit that he's gone through. And there's all these <laughs> whiny little bitches who are posting videos, making comments, writing articles about how, oh, the self-help guru was brought to tears by a bunch of Twitter followers. Now keep in mind, these are the same people that will say that certain people should be banned or prosecuted because their tweets led to somebody committing suicide. You know, these are the same exact people. And then Jordan Peterson, after thinking that his wife is probably going to die, brought to tears after 
getting off of certain medications that he's been on for a while. After going through however many hours and days in a hospital, I used to work on a cancer ward. And this was almost 15 years ago. And I've seen what families go through. I've seen what the patient goes through, especially when they're going through chemo and radiation treatment. The people who you think are going to walk out of the hospital because <laughs> they look like they were completely fine when they walked in. And then the people who are like, oh yeah, they've got like a week or two. It never works out that way. You know, the nice guy who comes in with his wife is very polite and uh, shaking everyone's hand and talking about how he's going to kick cancer's ass is the one that gets wheeled out to the morgue piece of shit who is insulting everybody, threatening the doctors, swearing and getting caught in the parking lot with a can of beer and who knows what kind of substance in a syringe or a, a joint. Uh, yeah, they walk out and they leave. So if I found out that my wife was uh, diagnosed with cancer and was uh, gonna start treatment, I'd probably be thinking it was the end of the freaking world too. So of course, Coach Red Pill decided to take it upon himself to take a guess as to where Jordan Peterson's philosophy was going to head. If he's brought to tears by Twitter followers, next thing you know, he'll be saying that language should be banned on Twitter. I don't see that happening. The other issue I have is he is uh, criticizing Peterson for writing the middle, not taking one side or another, trying to keep both sides happy. And that is just a flat out freaking lie. There are certain people who do not pick one side or the other. Those tend to be fans of Jordan Peterson. They don't like the left for how radical it is. They don't like the right for uh, how conservative and pretentious it tends to be. It's just people who want to be themselves, who are tired of being judged by either side, who tend to side with Jordan Peterson. And then you have Coach Red Pill saying, look, you have to pick one side or the other. Coming across as both CNN and Fox News because Heaven forbid you watch both to find out what the hell is really going on. Or you could just watch the BBC. So that was another thing that irritated the shit out of me, was his, uh, you're either with us or with the terrorist uh, ideology that the Ukrainian native decided to pick. That pissed me off. Then he goes on a, a short diatribe about... Uh, you know, Peterson making money off of certain people, and hey, you know, why not when you can? It's a smart thing to do. Peterson's a smart guy. You know, make a few dollars when you can. Of course, he's not going to criticize Peterson for writing a book, selling merchandise on his website, because Coach Red Pill, coffee mugs, t shirts, uh, stickers. Whatever it is that you want to do to help advertise for the guy, because he's, <laughs> he's not going to pay for advertising, he's going to have you to pay to advertise for him. So I've seen this kind of mentality before. You're sitting at your computer, you start noticing certain stories popping up over and over again. Oh, this is what people are clicking on. I saw this when, when uh, Anthony Bourdain died. Uh, same day, everybody's racing to have a video on YouTube in order to get those clicks. Uh, ben Shapiro, the, uh, <laughs> the large vocabulary, small IQ guy, ends up doing a 20-minute video talking about uh, <laughs> Anthony Bourdain's son, which he doesn't have. Criticizing him for committing suicide. 
uh, just saying all the wrong shit just to satisfy his fans and to get some clicks so that he can make some money on advertising. Now I feel like that's what Coach Red Pill is doing right now. Jordan Peterson, fresh out of rehab, definitely uh, emotionally in a state of, uh, I don't know, disrepair. Like the guy's not doing well. And uh, honestly, if, if he was to take time off, I wouldn't blame the guy. But I can see where he's thinking that maybe he wants to uh, stay out there just so he stays relevant. So in response, I uh, unsubscribed to Coach Red Pill. And I got no hard feelings about that. Because uh, I'm not supporting that kind of behavior. I'm tired of the clickbait bullshit. I'm tired of people making videos for the sake of uh, just promoting themselves. Trying to stay relevant with uh, their followers on however it is they might view a, a topic. Because uh, I think going after somebody when they're already down. You know, there was a famous fight between Muhammad Ali and Frazier where uh, Ali does the rope-a-dope comes at Frazier, knocks him down as Frazier's trying to get back up Ali has that hand back but he doesn't last he doesn't, he doesn't land that blow that would just end Frazier you know, he, uh, he showed some restraint. And there's that famous photo of that moment. And uh, there's a lot of people that look up to Ali for that, you know? Hating somebody when they're down. There's, uh, there's no class in that. And uh, Ali definitely showed uh, good sportsmanship, some class. You don't get that from the internet. You don't get that from the people who are going after Peterson, who is still acting like a good example, a good role model, something that people actually need these days. You're not getting that from Coach Red Pill. You know, same guy who brags about having God knows how many illegitimate children all over the planet, laughs about it, and uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that video. I'm sorry, but uh, that's not its not a sign of being a man. That is a boy who fucked up way too many times. And if you're laughing about it later, later and you're showing no remorse about uh, what you did, you still haven't grown up. It's probably why he's hanging out with those Ukrainian bitches. So yeah, uh, Jordan Peterson... Still has my support. I hope everything is going well for him. As best it can be at this uh, time in his life. Coach Redpill, uh, you know, dude, you don't even live in the States. You're from Chile. You left the United States. You're living in the Ukraine. Why are you even commenting on things that are happening here? Why don't you stick with the Ukraine? So that's all I got for today. Hope everyone's doing well. It started out as a uh, gloomy, crappy day, but uh, as you can see, the sun came out, the uh, cloud cover left, and it seems like the rain is gone. So I'm going to try to enjoy what's left of the weekend. Hope everyone else is doing well. And uh, keep on typing.